Hi Happy United, um, so I'm in Switzerland at the moment and um, if you ever come to Switzerland I'd say I recommend that you come here. In the background is the north face of the Eiger and this is just a lake which is so incredibly beautiful. Um, so today's video is just going to be about uh, did you grow up speaking both of your parents languages? So did your parents teach you your Asian language as well? And if they didn't do you feel that that was the right thing for them to do, not to teach you the language or to teach you the language? In my case, I grew up without my mother actually teaching me Thai, which, you know, I, I find is a pity. So as an adult, I've actually learned Thai. I'm actually in the process of, of improving it at the moment. And I think it's absolutely great to be able to speak both your parents' languages. So do share what your experience has been and also recommendations should parents teach both languages to their children. Anyway, I'll just give you a little swoop of um, the surroundings. So that's the north face right there of the Eiger. This is the lake. And um, that's where the train goes up to the Jungfrau or Jungfrau Joch as it's called. And that's the Mönch mountain. And over here is a valley. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and do leave your feedback in the comment section below. And um, Munch over there. So um, yeah, this bit is pretty high up. What I wanted to add is I think that learning both your parents' languages if you are Hapa is really important because it adds to your own sense of identity and um, knowing about both parents' cultures also really helps in terms of your own personal identity. So if, like me, you've grown up without having been taught your second language, you know, your other language, your Hapa language, or if, for example, you don't know that much about your other culture, then my advice personally would be just go away, learn the language. You can have um, Skype lessons nowadays, you know, it's, it is quite doable. And what you can also do is just start reading up about the country, go visit it, spend time over there, you know, if you can, I don't know, work over there for a period of time or just visit it for an extended period of time or regularly, that's great as well. So those are just tips for if you haven't, you know, grown up with a strong sense of your other culture. Um, yeah, so the noise you can hear in the background is a waterfall. I don't know if you can actually see it, but it's, it's on the other side of the valley and it's extremely noisy. I can hear it from here. Um, I'm sitting on a slope, which is actually, um, well, slanted. So I feel a little bit, uh, uneven. This spot might not be good for you if you're afraid of heights. But anyway, happy United. Um, until next time.